I'm just saying, this you got just real happened. stuff talking about this. Talking just about That's what you did. Because what you're talking about is more I'm important asking, than what I'm just asking. About, right? I'm just asking you. No, I'm asking I know how you move. I also know how you move. How do you know how I move? Because I've seen some of your shit. So what does that mean? That's a joke. You say a lot of negative stuff about the black community. Okay, because I have definitely. So I see how you get down. You're not a negative. So that's why you're coming in and asking. You're kind of like a Negro P. Okay, yeah. I'll take that. One of those cool niggas. Call me a cool nigga. But I'll be that. But I'll be that. One of those cool niggas. But I'll be that. That we shouldn't be paying attention to, though. Oh, well, but you paid attention to me. You heard me. I just heard you, nigga. I just heard you. you. But don't even call me that, though, brother. Hey, you call me a coon, so I call you a nigga. And I'm a king. I'm a king. I'm a king. You call me a coon. You just called yourself an N, brother. And you call me a coon. You just called yourself an N, brother. Oh, you can call me a white supremacist, call me. But you are exactly what you want to do with the European white supremacist. You call me a coon. 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 You they stopped to talk to me. Nah, whatever. And you we corny. Were and they sure wasn't talking to me. Corny, yo. Oh, yeah, you corny, 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 you know, is exactly what the black community doesn't need. And for anybody that's black following him, shame on you. And that funny little comedy mad, black lives matter, black lives matter, black lives do matter, but black power matters even more. And the simple fact that when you have a coon like that speaking on things and trying to be disrespectful, and as you see it as being sarcastic, you know, about something that's very real, because this dude is the type of guy that's grabbing and reaching for the white approval and the attention. There should be nobody that's black that should be uh, paying attention to him, but I guess controversy sells. So a big fuck you to Tommy Kuhn, because that type of dude is the type of guy that we do not need in any kind of movement. And the brother wanna sit there and say, I know who he is. The only reason why I even know who this guy is is because when you go search through videos, you see certain things, you see certain titles, because people are tricky. They put certain titles and they'd be like, okay, this might be good. But as soon as I put down, I saw that was fuckery at its finest. And I was like, there's no way. And a simple fact, as, as I think about it, and I wish I had said it to those black women that was paying attention to his, his buffoonery, listening to him about relationship advice, uh, which is crazy, he don't respect no black woman. Any other race would not even allow him to speak as bad as the way he speaks against black women. In general, he's always clowning. So the reality is, this is what we have to do. You know, we out there, Million to Man March, the 20th anniversary, we got a coon that wants to get some attention, who wants to probably... Um, review the march and put his spin on it and speak negatively about it and then wants to down talk the black community we don't need that type of informant that agent 
a Negro peen, a silly Negro like that around. We just don't need it. He's a coon. Anybody that's following him or even thinks that whatever he says got any validation is a coon too. And probably an agent. He's a real sucker. I, I don't, you know, I don't see how... I, I can't say I don't see how because this is the internet age. The internet age where you could be popular in one day. <laughs> you know, something could go viral and, and change your whole life around. So... It's a, it's a, it's, it was nice finally meeting a coon like that because every time I've seen a video, I always said, when I see this sucker, I'm going to give this sucker something. I'm not going to just allow him to feel that it's okay, you know? And if I wasn't such a gentleman, you know, I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> because this coon probably after he sees this video, he'll probably go ahead and try to do something, pull out some type of legal thing or, you know, we're using, I don't know, but... At the end of the day, all coons must go. Coonism is real, and what you saw right there is a coon at his finest doing what coons do. So you tell me and explain to me, is this what we need to represent the black community? We don't. We don't need him, and we don't need to be approved by white people. Let's focus on moving forward in a positive sense. We don't need a Negro who speaks down on our black women. Who speaks down on black movements. It's okay to be critical, but don't speak down on movements and individuals for the sake of entertainment and it's entertaining white supremacy. That should be the golden rule. Once a brother sit there and speaks like that, the brother needs to be exiled. Not having a whole bunch of people parading around him like he's someone. Hey, brother, I, I, I get it. You was that nerd at school that no one paid attention, and you finally found something for people to pay attention. I understand it, because there's a lot of suckers out here on videos doing a lot of these, these, these things on Instagram, Facebook, you know, YouTube, Snapchat, whatever, and got Twitter, got instant fame. But they was nerds. They was real suckers. And he's probably one of those suckers, too. Probably got bullied. You know what I'm saying? So this is his nerd's revenge. <laughs> but Tommy, man, cool Tommy, man, you know, welcome. And who busted your ass was Barry Axius. And if I see you again, I'm going to do the same exact thing until you change your tune and start pushing us forward, not pushing us backward. Coonism is real. Stop the cooning. Mm -hmm.